Yes, well, it was yesterday afternoon that a young David Bowie fan and organ scholar came into this St Albans Cathedral to make his own tribute to the late singer. He played Life on Mars at this organ, and in less than 24 hours it's been viewed by about 2.5 million people. It's taken its place among those most poignant of tributes. We're seeing people singing on the streets of Brixton, flowers being laid in New York. You might even have viewed it yourself, but I'm joined now by the man behind the music, Nicholas Freestone. How does it feel to become a Bowie internet sensation overnight? It's uh, absolutely surreal uh, and incredible unbelievable and also very humbling to receive uh, some lovely messages from from David Bowie fans who have uh, been very touched by by the musical tributes. This has been watched all around the world. Have you heard from people in America I believe? Yes, yes I've heard from America, I've heard uh, from people in continental Europe and uh, yeah all around the world it's gone uh, it's gone very big indeed. What was your inspiration to, to come here and play Life on Mars? Well all of us in the cathedral community were were deeply shocked by by waking up to the news of David Bowie's death yesterday morning so so uh, we wanted to, uh, to put something on. We uh, had uh, kind of impromptu musical performance here. We put it out on Twitter to the local community. We said, uh, come along at four o'clock to hear, hear uh, an impromptu musical tribute. So uh, I, I played Life on Mars for them. Uh, it was filmed and uh, uploaded to Facebook and YouTube and uh, the rest is history, really. Well, Boy's legacy is obviously in his music. Do you mind playing for some of that for us now, Nicholas? Mm -hmm. You can hear the whole of Nicholas's rendition of Life on Mars on our website, thanks to Peter Smith.